Yeah, so when, you, when we take a look at ourselves learning as a team, the reason why we want to do season zero is like the rest of our live experience, our team needs to build the muscle of, of listening to the players, of pro providing fixes, really going through even veteran uh, people who've worked on, on games, game developers. Uh, when they go through a service, every game is different, every team is different, and it takes a, a lot of muscle building to really get into the rhythm for your teams to be able to add to the game. And so what we hope to hear from on the technical preview side is, again, what, what's working for you? What's not working for you? What don't you like? Remember, the build is old, so don't, don't treat it as if it's vinyl at all. Um, so as we go, in, go into these details, um, just, just remember, just send us, send us your feedback. Give us the details that you want to see or improve on. Um, and we won't, again, because we're a few months from launch, we won't necessarily be able to fix everything for launch, but we'll start adding lists together. First thing I want to talk about from a Battle Pass perspective is, is our challenges. Our challenge system um, is the cornerstone. It is the underlying thing in which we go. Now, everyone's familiar with these. We've done a little bit different. This is where you start seeing the first rewards that you get outside of the pass. So we know, right? Games are a bit different today than they were uh, back in the day. In fact, back in the day, most people only had two to three games a year that they even looked at. Today, I bet you most of your Steam libraries are much larger than that. And that means players are going from Sea of Thieves or they're jumping over to Age of Empires and then they're coming into Halo as well. And we want to make sure that when you sit down, you don't have to absorb an entire battle pass to say, what are my rewards? You can literally just come in, what are the challenges? I'm going to go play my games with my friends and I'm going to get rewarded for it. That's pretty critical for us from a player first perspective. And then of course you're going to get people like me. I'm going to get sometimes get sniper challenges. Now, I'm not clutch in any way, shape, or form, or Mickwin or any other pro team. <laughs> I will skip the, the, that challenge. So I'll definitely probably swap that for sure. Um, and I'll, I'll wanna make sure that uh, I don't have to do that because I'm not good at it at all. So let's look at the battle pass. So we're gonna buy this? Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, we granted you. You're just like a, a real tech preview participant. Right, so this... We have given you some money, Jerry. All right, good. I get paid today. Sweet. All right. Sweet. Got the pass. We're ready to go. So, as you can see, oh, I bought it, so now you can't see the free labels. Shoot. Oh, oh well. Yeah, well, you're right. What, 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 what we're not seeing is a smattering of objects in this pass are free, right? So, Correct. even if someone doesn't want to opt into the optional pass in the real game, there will still be a free track and things to earn along yeah, the way. Yeah, the main thing you think of from, from a model that we have is every tier there's a free item and a premium item and that means that every single player instead of having uh you know most systems you have large swaths of of the tiers that aren't earned unless you're premium for us we want you to earn every step of the way um, and for the preview um we're only having 30 level or 20 levels sorry 20 levels in the preview uh to be able to uh, go after and so uh, obviously at launch we'll have much larger we're not going to talk about that too much but the great thing you're seeing here is you're seeing customization all along the way um, do you want to go to yours yeah we can we'll, yeah want, Josh you want to jump back over to mine because um, I had some development sheets enabled so I've got everything already unlocked um, oh, actually Josh switch back over to my feed there there we go so now that we have that context, Jerry, of yeah. kind of sort of where this content's going to come from, I'm back in the armor hall. I've just kind of drilled now into this. This is what happens if I click in on my core, right? So yeah. this is, we don't need to go through all this. I, want, I know folks are probably eager to see some more gameplay. We want to talk about bots and arena as well. But, you know, this is where I would apply my coatings, for example. Some yep. of these coatings I'm going to earn. We saw the keystone coating as a challenge reward, for example. Um, so this is just a taste of kind of what I'll be able to do. Um, I can't wait to see how players in the tech preview, I, you know, I would hope a lot of people are probably going to easily hit tier 20 and max out. Yeah. Um, you know, if not, that's our hope. What are you doing? You've had this long to prepare. Like, come on, you, you've waited for this. <laughs> we need just you. Be good. Go crazy. But yes, this is just to give you an idea. As I lock, unlock my content for the core, this is where I'm going to go in and be able to be able to customize that. Yeah. And I mentioned this to you the other day, but funny fact, someone pointed out to me that if you want to, I think for the first time in a Halo game, you can have no shoulder pads. Which right. You know, hey, if that's your if that's your fancy, go for it. 
So lots of different options here. And, uh, yeah, and this is like, you're not seeing things in here like armor effects or uh, other categories that we have uh, listed here. Uh, for the tech preview, it's really small. Um, and so we tried to keep it basically the baseline pieces. Um, actually, let's talk about armor kit for a little bit. That's yeah, yeah, what is, yeah, because this, I don't think this is really so, fully supported in this build though. Yeah, so when we talk about, um, specifically from a pillar perspective of continuing the story, the armor kit kind of represents a bunch of that story. And so when you see the season, and when we say story, uh, we mean the continuing story of the universe fr from after you, uh, when you're in campaign as Master Chief, what are the rest of the Spartans doing? You are a Spartan, and so your story belongs here too. But it's also a place in which you can show iconic uh, characters within the Halo universe. And so a kit, for example, you might get, um, I don't know, George or Emil, and that is an entire kit unto itself. And so you want to, like, you actually want to go fly the you know, do your battles on the battlefield like George, that's where you would go uh, to get that kit. Well, Jerry, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I think there's still a ton of fun content in here for insiders this weekend to experiment with, unlock, explore.